Putin seems to be preparing for a military campaign that Europe hasn't seen since World War II. Intelligence agencies monitoring Russian cyber operations against Ukraine believe Russia's pattern of activity could signal a ground invasion of Ukraine within the next 30 days. Siberian trains are packed with Russian troops and tanks heading for Ukraine's border. Russia's army is on the move. The Kremlin has displaced over 100,000 soldiers from the south, west and north and center towards Ukraine's border. Now the military units await new orders from Putin in huge camps near the Ukrainian border and in Crimea, a Ukrainian peninsula occupied by the Russians. This week, even military experts are astonished by Russia's moves. Pulling a true logistic stunt, Putin is moving his troops in the far east of his country, the opposite side from, for many troops, in order to organize his troops on the border of Ukraine. Look how in January 2022 we can observe being transported by Russian T-72 B-3Ms on their way to Ukraine with metal cages installed on top in order to be protected from drone attacks, various tanks. But of course, hard times can arise in such large-scale military operations. The trains travel at a distance of 7,000 kilometers over the legendary Trans-Siberian Railway towards Ukraine and NATO member states. Only on January 11th, 12 military cargo trains have gone towards the west in a massive military mobilization not seen since Stalin. Of course, we must keep in mind the current situation and we must refer to the short time span. The Trans-Siberian Railway is an important means of transport across Russia. A military train takes between six to seven days to reach the west of Russia from the far side of the Pacific. The Siberian trains do it in two to three days. Inside those trains, you can find anything you could need for a war, from the most advanced Russian tanks to ballistic rocket systems with nuclear capacity and countless logistic vehicles. And so, this very last category makes NATO and US concerned for if Putin only wanted to put up a show, tanks and artillery would have been sufficient. For this reason, we are now witness to an increased interesting move by US, namely the deployment of the US Navy ballistic missile submarine USS Nevada at naval base Guam. In conclusion, Putin is about to get serious. At the moment, about 100,000 Russian troops and thousands of military equipment are stationed on the border between Russia and Ukraine. However, footage of a large-scale transfer of military equipment from the eastern part of Russia towards the western borders is actively published on the web, which indicates that the Russian troops have been brought to full strength. Combat readiness against the backdrop of a very high risk of attack from NATO. Given the scale of the transfer of military equipment, we can talk about building up Russian troops on the border, with NATO and alliance partners up to 500,000 people, which means that most of the Russian troops will be in this direction.
In the presented video frames, made in different parts of the country, one can see numerous echelons with a wide variety of military equipment. Tanks, multiple launch rocket systems, light armored vehicles, engineering vehicles, military trucks, field artillery, and so on. Judging by the numerous publications on the web, at present moment, in the direction of the borders of Russia and NATO, put forward dozens of echelons with equipment and the military. Previously, it was assumed that the military equipment transferred to the western part of Russia would be deployed on the border with Ukraine due to the risk that the Ukrainian armed forces could attack both Donbas and Crimea. However, apparently, Russia troops will be deployed to numerous military field camps along the entire western border and, more likely, even on the border of neighboring Belarus with Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. The reason for this is the refusal of the US and NATO to negotiate security and apparently the measures taken by Russia will be really tough, although it is clear that the key goal of Russian military is to protect the country's borders. We follow the unfolding events for you.
please subscribe to the channel.